Okay, so this is song number five. Cinco. When you wish upon a star. So I'm guessing this is in English. Oh, this we certainly know. Yes, we do. song before i wanted to talk to you about that yeah hundreds of times i don't know i don't i don't know if i'm being biased but hearing him sing it the way he's singing it i feel he's taking me back to my childhood yes and i he's feel like it he's touching it and he's yeah. touching a special part of me and it makes me feel like he's singing to me and that you know what everything he's saying i'm holding to it i'm believing it that i can have a, a, a wish and it'll come true like i don't there's something about the way he's singing it it's so heartfelt and so beautiful i yeah. love it you know when oh we were doing God. when we were doing tobias coquera when we did the reaction last year i said how it was making me feel i brought up elvis because i'm trying to bring up a time where the sound but like for example sinatra or there there was a sound of the violins and the background music that for that time period it sounded like that and he i hear that a lot in this album mm -hmm. like this is like i associate this was kind of like the like that old school really old sounding version from like the what is that? i don't know if it's 50s or 60s or whatever and he's kind of playing it in that classical style he is. even the violin and the music oh, in the background man. has kind of like a 50s throwback almost yeah. you know so authentic it sounds so good but then vocally so strong yeah 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 so like Ooh. you said so relaxed and so open yeah but then he'll you know he'll take it up to these uh sweet Ooh. little high notes yes he does he started the song off much lower Ooh. than i was expecting and he it's funny relaxed it's funny because <laughs> i was thinking about Nat king cole when i was before the song started yeah. so i was already i was thinking deep voice so 
when he started this song, he yeah. went in kind of this low register. Do that. You know what I mean? I, I, was, I don't know why I was expecting yeah. it to be a little bit higher, but he just kind of, but he did go higher. He as the got the low and he got the high. Yeah. I can't with the It was good. You're doing too much. That was a good version. Was too this, much. Was the songs in the past as long as this? No. No, no. Wait, what do you mean? Because um, I, I, I remember the song being shorter. Back then they extended. No, I, that, back then they would extend every song. Okay. So I don't know, you know. All right. So we're moving on to. Oh. Number six. Seven. Have yourself a merry little Christmas, which we should also recognize. So that was no. I'm sorry, we're doing White Christmas. Have but you know what? Again, I, I is is it just me? Uh, are you not surprised at how cleanly he sings in English? No, I'm not surprised. I mean, it's where's the Yarko, accent? But yeah, it's really clean. Yeah, he's he's. I heard just, no accent, and no Finnish accent accents are very strong. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at Tarja stuff. I mean, I like, have more I mean, of an accent than he he does. Yarko, you see. And it just occurred to me, have we heard him sing in English before? Yes, we have. In which song? Walking in the Air, I guess. Walking in the Air. You know, I, I didn't think about this, his... Oh, oh okay. My God, I guess he didn't have an air. accent there. I, his English must be really good. Apparently. Yeah. Oh, okay. Dreaming I was wondering what's on this one. Okay. Why? Why? It's Christmas. Christmas. Can't sing over him now. Just like the ones I used to know. Okay, Yarko. Where well, the tree tops glisten and children listen. Okay. To hear sleigh bells. In the snow, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Be so cute. With every Christmas card I write, may your days be merry and bright. Be just so impressive the thing that gets me about him is that when he went up high like that yeah he's able to bring it down into a, a lower octave like it's nothing that yeah. is not easy to do i've tried it well i mean he's the hallmark of a good singer i'm course. a singer i'm not a singer but i've tried that and it is not easy mm -hmm. he is just everything he's everything and taking a very very simple song and just kind of yes. adding a little of your own flair oh. to it Mm, good stuff. I mean, that's about as classic of a Christmas song good as you're going to get right there. This is there. really a lot of fun. Oh my gosh. It's feeling really good. I have a new Christmas album, and I've been trying to search for some really good songs, and YouTube has been failing me. But this is a, this is definitely one I'm going to add to my, my um, Christmas playlist. I know you are, because, you know, Daria is doing her own Christmas stuff. And I want Daria. And, and make no mistake, it's very good. I hope that they replace but some of our stuff. I don't feel like you would play, be as excited to play that in the background as much 
because you tend to like the kind of traditional classic, classic Christmas I stuff. Do. And I this do. is what this is. Yeah, I agree. This I agree. fits with your playlist. Even because, I mean, you're even doing, you know, you love, of course, the Motown Christmas Absolutely. specials yeah, and the music yes. with Michael, Always. young little Michael and stuff like that. OJ's but this music. fits in with it all of it. It fits that. in with all of it. Absolutely. Sometimes when you do a mix, you'll get these songs that just like stick out like a sore thumb and ruin the vibe. Yeah. This has the vibe of the holidays. It does. Through and through. Good job, good job.